So I'm standing on a really interesting uh, volcanic feature that's a little subtle to the naked eye, but still pretty impressive. This is a type of volcano or volcanic landform uh, feature that we call a diatreme. And as we look around us here, we can see in a previous video, I talked about uh, the folds in these rocks here, this big monocline, this big flexure in the Earth's surface that has kind of draped the rocks over and folded them right here where the San Juan River runs through this part of southeastern Utah. But if we look in the, in the foreground, in the immediate view here, we can see these big just jumbled piles of rock, uh, just shattered. There's boulders over there falling off the cliff, but you can see different colors in here, some, some darker colors, some yellows, just shattered pieces of sandstone uh, and other types of sedimentary rocks. And what we had here is we actually have a really unique type of volcano, again called the diatreme, which brought rocks to the surface at tremendous speeds and from tremendous depths. So very different than your sort of run-of-the-mill volcanoes that we typically see. Of course, there's no volcanic edifice above us here because uh, we've had so much erosion to this point. So we're really looking at the plumbing system or sort of the roots of this volcano. Um, in, re in this region around the Four Corners area, sometimes the, the plumbing systems or the roots of these volcanoes actually stick up as sort of black gothic looking spires. There's a whole series of these in the Four Corners area called the Hopi Buttes. Um, they go by other different names individually, but these, uh, you can see these preserved in different places. This one doesn't show the actual volcanic pipe, but what it does show is this just field of debris, just shattered, what we call brecciated rock. And uh, I want to show you the diagram that kind of shows how these things would have looked. And then I have a really interesting rock to kind of show you as well. And so this is sort of the, the diagram we have here. So. At depth, we would have our really old rocks, what we call the basement rocks. Basement rocks would be granites, metamorphic rocks, just rocks from the, the lower part of the crust. And then, of course, sitting on top of them would be a layers of sedimentary rocks that the Colorado Plateau is famous for. At this location, the rocks are tilted, they're inclined. You can kind of see that uh, down here in the distance. These all form these fins of rock here. And the type of conduit here, so we would have this, this eruption bringing these, these rocks up at tremendous speeds. I think some, some models even suggest maybe that it was almost hypersonic, the speed at which these uh, magmas were, were working its way towards the surface. But what's important here is as, it, as this material is moving towards the surface, it's ripping up the existing rocks along the wall and just carrying chunks of these shattered rocks up towards the surface where it kind of fills in this pit here around the vent. And so this is what we call again a diatreme. Um, these are the same types of volcanoes that bring diamonds to the surface. So these are also uh, similar to kimberlite pipes, which is a specific type of volcano, a very unique type of volcano that brings these things up to the surface. Most of these big blocks up here are sandstone, uh, pieces of brecciated and broken up sandstone. Uh, but we did happen to find one particular rock and you can see some of the crystals in here. This is a granite. So this rock with its crystals in it should be um, miles below our our feet here in terms of where this rock should exist in the subsurface. But here it is up at the surface because it was brought up by this impressive volcanic um, type of volcano, a, a diatreme. So this is the specific one here is called the Mule Ear Diatreme. Again, adjacent to uh, the San Juan River. Um, in southeastern Utah, between the towns of Bluff and Mexican Hat. Uh, I don't know how we access this area by boat. Uh, we're on a rafting trip. But there might be other places where you could hike in to see this sort of thing. But really a really uh, cool and impressive piece of volcanic geology, uh, a place that kind of showcases sort of the power of these volcanoes and their ability to uh, pulverize and break up rock as it ascends towards the surface. So just beautiful scenery here uh, in southeastern Utah at the Mule, Di Ear, Mule Ear Diatreme.